Hi guys, it's your girl, The Realist RT, and I am back. And y'all, this is just going to be a short uh, video. Um, I just wanted to share this with you all, and I hope um, that it gives you um, some insight, um, like it did for me. You know, it really made me ponder and think, and I felt like this experience that I'm about to share with you um, it also gave me some wisdom, um, on how to, uh, interact, uh, in this world, um, when we have to be around narcissistic personalities. But anyway, what I want to share with you guys is, um, this actually happened when I was, um, working at this rehab, uh, facility and I met this older um female uh doctor there it just so happened i was um providing respiratory care to one of her patients and you know um one day i, I went to the room and i realized that that patient wasn't there anymore and, you know, I was just kind of, you know, wondering, okay, well, have they been discharged? Have the patient been discharged or, you know, what exactly happened to the patient, right? And so I end up um, speaking to the doctor about it. And she just she just said, um, oh, you know, the patient expired just like that and left it like that, right? But it wasn't until I showed genuine concern about that patient. Like, I watched her discern me, y'all. It, it's almost like it went in slow motion. But, but she watched my response to um, hearing the news that the patient was expired. She was looking at my eyes and my body language and she discerned that I really cared about, you know, the well-being of that patient. And it wasn't until then that she opened up and she, she began to show her empathy that she had for the patient. And she started to give me a lot of detail, you know, detail that wasn't really necessary but since she could see that I had a genuine concern about the patient it gave me a sense of closure you know for that patient you know and then she just kind of went into giving me more details you know about the patient um actually had had been discharged and expired in their sleep at home and you know she was just she just opened up, you know, and shared more of her empathetic side to me because I showed empathy. She could discern that I was also an empathetic person. And so I, I, I was telling you guys this story to say this is reserve. You have to learn how to reserve that part of you, you know, um, and and not just share that with everyone you know your your empathetic nature makes you just you know you just walk through this world just sharing it with everybody you know but what I learned from this example was to discern first before I let before I let somebody see that side of me or you know put my empathy out there, <laughs> you know, because sometimes um, it's been times where people prey on, on us because of our empathetic nature. And they will use that to their advantage to use and abuse you, you know. And so, like I was saying, what I learned is to, from this example, is just to discern first Watch their eyes, watch their body language before you just open up like that, open yourself up like that um, to people. 
But I told you guys this was going to be a short video. And uh, that was it. I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I hope you gain as much wisdom and insight from it as I did. Bye. See you next time.